JP Morgan Chase launches Chase Media Solutions. JP Line Data announces the acquisition of Dream Cork. Financial software provider Line Data has announced the acquisition of France based i platform developer Dream Cork. Tranglo expands cross border payments to 30 e wallets. Fintech specialist Tranglo has expanded its cross border payment network, allowing instant and direct transfers to over 30 e wallets. Ant Group's partnerships to expand consumer friendly zones in China. Ant Group has signed 11 partnerships with global e wallets and card organizations as part of a program to build international consumer friendly zones in China. MultiFee partners with Plaid to support UK SMEs. UK based cash flow management platform MultiFee has partnered with US based data network Plaid to support SMEs in the UK. Gravity Game Vision partners with EBANX. Gravity Game Vision has announced its partnership with EBANX in order to optimize the Latin American gaming landscape with a modernized gameplay experience. TerraPay receives MPI license from the MOS. UK based payment services provider TerraPay has received a major payment institution, MPI, license from the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MOS. D Local partners with Papaya Global. D Local has announced its partnership with payroll and payments platform Papaya Global in order to enable firms to easily handle workforce payments around the world. Seardit Agricole and Worldline launch joint payment service, Call. France based bank Seardit Agricole has partnered with Worldline to launch Call, a joint venture that provides tailored payment services to merchants. Adyen. UK retail sector loses 11 British pounds and 30 pence BLN to payment fraud yearly. Adyen and the Centre for Economic Business and Research have reported that over a third of UK retail businesses lost on average 1 British pound and 40 pence MLN each to fraud in 2023. EBA Clearing announces Pan-European Payment Security Initiative. EBA Clearing has announced its plan to provide verification of payee services to its users at a pan-European level starting from December 2024. Asilar launches i-powered AML risk platform. Asilar, a player in i-powered financial risk management, has unveiled its i-powered AML risk platform at the ACAMS Summit in Florida. Coinbase collaborates with LightSpark for Bitcoin Lightning integration. Coinbase has moved closer to adding Bitcoin Lightning into its platform through a new collaboration with LightSpark, a Lightning solution geared towards enterprises. EBA Clearing preps verification of payee. EBA Clearing will roll out a pan European verification of payee feature by the end of the year. Newbank teams up with Wise Platform to power global account. Today, Wise Platform, Wise's infrastructure offering for banks, financial institutions, and enterprises around the world, announced its partnership with Newbank, one of Brazil's largest financial institutions, to power their global account and international debit card. Alpay scores MasterCard Sustainability Badge. Alpay Limited is proud to announce its attainment of the MasterCard Sustainability Badge, positioning the company at the forefront of environmentally conscious practices. Transy chooses Velmi for launch of Remittance App. Velmi is excited to announce a strategic partnership with Transy, an ambitious company from the US founded by a team of experienced finance professionals. PXP Financial gets token service provider accreditation from MasterCard. PXP Financial, the expert in global acquiring, payment, fraud, 
and Data Analysis Services. Today announced it has received accreditation to become a token service provider by global technology company MasterCard. OnLimit invests in paytering. OnLimit, the leading global fintech company revolutionizing payments, has announced today that it has become the lead investor in global payment orchestration platform Paytring's pre seed funding round. Zipay Ghana raises funds. Ghanaian fintech company Zipay Ghana Limited today announced the completion of an equity investment by pan African investment firms Africa 50, Oiko Credit, Injaro, Verdant Capital Hybrid Fund, and INP. The funds will go towards expanding Zipay's operations in Africa and the Caribbean. Banking Circle enables faster and cheaper indirect access to local payment schemes. The latest enhancement to Banking Circle's agency banking solution provides financial institutions, FIS, and payment service providers, PSPs, with faster go-to-market accessibility to local payment schemes. Road and Worldline Partner on EV Payments a new collaboration between Road and Worldline, Euronext, WLN, creates a powerful solution for charge point owners that addresses payment processing and administrative and compliance requirements altogether. PayDo launches embedded finance feature. PayDo, a leading electronic money institution, EMI, is on the way to improving digital finance. It will launch an embedded finance feature for SIPA, SIPA Instant, FPS and SWIFT transactions. 2023 Working Capital Needs of Growth Corporate CFOs and Treasurers in Europe In this episode of Finextra TV, Clive Cornelius, Head of T&E and Procurement Commercial Products at Visa, and James Sykes, Head of Commercial Cards and Invoice Finance Products at Lloyds Bank, discuss Visa's recently published Growth Corporate's Working Capital Index Report. We learn about the state of play across the European growth corporates landscape, the biggest challenges that growth corporates in the UK and Europe are facing today, and how CFOs are deploying solutions and investing in growth to counteract these challenges. Quant House names Rob Kirby Head of Sales and Business Development, EMEA. Arrest today announced that Rob Kirby has joined the company as Quant House's head of sales and business development for the EMEA region. ECB preps DLT trials for wholesale central bank money settlement. The European Central Bank has put together a host of participants for exploratory work on the use of distributed ledger technology to settle wholesale transactions in central bank money. France Active goes live with Clearwater to streamline investment accounting. Clearwater Analytics, NYSE, CWAN, a leading provider of SaaS-based investment management, accounting, reporting, and analytics solutions, today announced that France Active has gone live on the Clearwater platform after a five-month onboarding period, in order to simplify their investment accounting operations and centralize their accounting book of record. RegTech Corelytics receives Verdane investment. Corelytics, the global leader in regulatory intelligence and policy compliance technology, has signed an investment from specialist growth investor Verdane for a majority equity stake in the company. Ariza Group names Kevin O'Neill Chief Revenue Officer. Today Ariza Group, a leading provider of financial software solutions, announces the appointment of Kevin O'Neill as its Chief Revenue Officer. TSD announces a strategic partnership with Axel, provider of loaner and car rental software TSD has announced a strategic partnership with Universal API for insurance data Axel. OnLimit leads Patrings pre-seed funding round. Global fintech company specializing in payments, Unlimit, has become the lead investor in payment orchestration platform Paytering, S pre seed funding round. Amadeus completes Vision Box acquisition. 
travel technology company Amadeus has completed the acquisition of provider of Biometric Solutions Vision Box. LCH gets regulatory approval to clear Bitcoin index derivatives. Clearinghouse LCH has gotten regulatory approval from French and European supervisory authorities to clear cash settled Bitcoin futures and options contracts. Entrust closes on Fido acquisition. Entrust, a global leader in trusted payments, identities, and data security, today announced that it has completed its acquisition of Onfido, a global leader in identity verification. Google Cloud wins major FS deals. Google Cloud has used its annual Las Vegas event to unveil details of deals with big-name financial services firms Citadel, Discover and Scotiabank. London listed Gresham to be bought by STG Partners. London-listed fintech Gresham Technologies has agreed to be bought out by a private equity firm in a cash deal worth £146.7 million. Novidia raises $30 million. Novidia, creator of the cloud-based, data-driven enterprise insurance management platform, today announced it has raised an additional $30 million from Harborvest Partners, bringing its total Series C round to $80 million joining existing investors Battery Ventures, Cross Creek, Israel Growth Partners, IGP, KT Squared, and Jal Ventures. Neep names Elisa Alonso Sanz CEO. Neep, the fund data management company, is today announcing that it appointed Elisa Alonso Sanz as the company's new chief executive officer, effective the 1st of July 2024. Intersect adds Tim Sherwin to board. Excel KKR, a technology-focused private equity firm, today announced the appointment of Tim Sherwin, former CEO and co-founder of Cardinal Commerce, to portfolio company Intersect's board of directors. Silver taps Google Cloud for AI-powered SME financing. Google Cloud and Silver a French startup specializing in short-term financing for SMEs, today announced a technological partnership, leveraging AI to facilitate entrepreneurs' solvency calculation and access to financing. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.